So I have been on the hunt for the perfect DC breakers for my solar system. I pull 60 to 70 amps at 29 volts when my air conditioning is fully running and I'm, I'm pulling all the current I need to. And I started off with a 100 amp Drock DC breaker and I like the form factor of this breaker, but um, these are really designed for 12 volt applications. And even though I was pulling less than the 100 amps, um, it's the voltage, the combination of the voltage and the amps that I was pulling used to trip this. And eventually I even upgraded to the 250 amp version of this, thinking that, you know, 12 volts at 250 amps should be similar to you know, uh, 70 amps at 30 volts. And that actually, you can actually do that conversion because these cheaper breakers use heat to trip the breaker and heat is, is a based on a watt calculation and so you can use the equivalent wattage in other voltages. But, and, and the 250 amp version of this did work for me for a couple months, but it has started to, the contact has started to get unreliable and I've started to had some problems, you know, it wouldn't, it won't, when I engage it, it won't fully reset and I've been having some issues. I recently switched to a, the genuine marine um, breaker and it's on my, it's already, it's on my power wall right now and I really like those. Those are rated for 42 volts at 120 amps. So, um, so far those are working great and they have a similar form factor to this which is very convenient because I can just break my, my battery and my solar whenever I need to. Um, but it just so happens when I was trying to find those genuine marine breakers I started searching around on eBay for you know I thought well maybe it's time to get some proper breakers. Well that is actually easier said than done. When you search around for DC breakers on eBay and, and Amazon and that, you will notice that they all have a maximum amperage. The biggest ones you can get are 63 amps. The biggest reasonably priced breakers you can get stop at 63 amps, all of them. You can get 25, 32, you can get all these different amperages you want, but they all stop at 63 amps. And the reason for that is I actually believe these are a, uh, AC breakers that are repurposed for DC purposes and it's much easier to break AC than it is to break DC and so when they repurpose these AC breakers that are maybe good for you know 500 amps AC the max that that can do in a DC application is say 63 amps so if you search around on eBay you will see that these breakers this form form this uh, style of breaker always stops at 63 amps um, and no matter how much searching I did, I was really coming up short. I did find a couple solar specific breakers that had higher amperages, but all of them were like $50. And, you know, I, I, I flat out refused to pay $50 for something like a basic breaker when, you know, they're all $10 for all the other amperages. But if I want a solar specific breaker, suddenly it's $50. So my search continued and it actually led me to AliExpress and I actually ended up on one of the manufacturers of all these, of all these style of breakers is Thomson, okay? And I actually ended up on their AliExpress store, uh, this Thomson here, I actually ended up on their AliExpress store and believe it or not, they actually have DC 250 volt breakers rated at 125 amps. Let's see if you can see that. Yep, this is rated at 125 amps, 250 volts DC. Um, so I ended up ordering some and the price is unbelievable. They're $3, $3.50 each. Now, I ended up paying like $15 of FedEx shipping, but they actually arrived to me in about a week. So $15 in FedEx shipping is perfectly fine from, you know, I'll pay that all day long. So even with shipping, these only cost me $12 a piece and they just arrived. And I have to say, firstly, 
they're much larger in person than I expected. And they have some serious heft to these things. I mean, these things got to weigh a third of a pound, half a pound each. Um, there is some serious heft to these breakers. And on first impressions, these look like really nice breakers. Um, they have a good action. Um, they have a lot of heft to them. They feel well made. Um, and if, you know, if their ratings are to be believed, this can carry 125 amps at up to 250 volts. So I am going to test this on my power wall here in a second, and we will run it under full load, which is only about 70 amps, and hopefully these don't get warm and don't trip, and that'll give us an idea if they're genuine or not, because, like I said, up until I found Thompson's uh, AliExpress website, the only breaker in this style that you could get was up to 63 amps. So I am interested to see if these are genuine uh, 125 amp breakers. But again, this came direct from the manufacturer's website. And they even have, you know, certificate of authenticity stickers on them with a watermark and a, and a you know, and a, hologra a holographic image in the background. So these do appear to be, um, you know, genuine and the real McCoy. So hopefully their ratings are real. But I'm going to hook this up just as a temporary, I'm just going to rig these up temporarily on my power wall, hit them with, uh, you know, 60, 70 amps, and we'll see if they take the load and if they get hot or, or how they perform, and I'll show you that rig in a second. Okay, here is my temporary ghetto rig that I have hooked up here. Um, these are the you know, these are the two battery banks coming in and normally they would travel through my genuine marine breaker, which as I told you so far, I've been very happy with. And this is rated at 42 volts at 120 amps. So this has been working just fine. But what I am doing is I am temporarily running the current through this breaker back out and I'm just using these as studs effectively. Mm -hmm. And um, um, this breaker is staying disconnected and I will use this as my main breaker for the whole system. And I'm about to fire up my air conditioning and some other stuff, and we'll see how this breaker does. Interestingly, I, I do find it interesting that green is off and red is on. I would have thought the opposite, but red is on. So let's throw that breaker. Everything is firing up. And uh, we have voltage. We have good contact. So this breaker is operational. Let's fire up. Uh, let's, fire, let's put in some solar. Okay, let's check the solar is coming online. Okay, solar is ramping up. Okay, and let's fire up the inverter here. All right, the inverter is on. So, let's, uh, right now you can see we're only drawing 13 watts for, no, what is that? Uh, 140 watts, uh, yeah, 140 watts, which is um, quite a lot considering that I don't have the air conditioning turned on yet, but let's turn on the air conditioning. And the, um, let's watch this. The inrush current of this air conditioning is something else. It pulls nearly two kilowatts to inst instantaneously, but the air conditioning is fired on and we're only pulling 800 watts so far, 28 amps. Um, but that will kick up very quickly and start to pull 1.2, 1.3 watts, uh, kilowatts, and the amperage will hit, uh, you know, we'll hit close to 60 amps. So I'll bring you back in a second once we're at full draw and the amps are um, um, closer to, uh, you know, 60, 70 amps, and we'll see if this breaker is a genuine, you know, 120 amp breaker or if it starts to get hot and struggle at uh, 60 amps. Okay, so the air conditioning has been running about 15 minutes. We are, uh, we are now pulling 1.6 kilowatts out of the battery pack, 1600 watts. Um, and you can see that that is about 60 amps verified. Um, so we're pulling 60 amps out of this breaker right now. And um, I've been checking the temperature and it is barely above ambient. Ambient in my garage right now is 85 degrees and this breaker is 91 degrees so the breaker is five degrees over ambient right now with 60 amps running through it so um, this breaker does seem like um, it is at least 60 amps capable 
and um, considering there's no you know no noticeable temperature increase it might actually be 120 amp capable um, so I think uh, I'm probably gonna run this temporary rig for a few more days just to see how how this breaker works out I must admit I do probably prefer the form factor of the genuine marine so I will likely um, I will likely stick with the genuine marine so long as it doesn't give me any problems. Um, this form factor with the DIN rail and stuff like that, it's a little more cumbersome to me. But I am impressed that there may actually be some proper breakers that are rated for some DC, some good DC voltage that are not absurdly, absurdly priced and we're not being gouged by some solar company by calling it a solar breaker. Um, so, I will put a link to the AliExpress website for this manufacturer. Again, it's uh, Tomzen. Um, and uh, yeah, the, these breakers have potential in these sort of solar applications if their ratings are valid.